Good morning to you. Let's take you through the 716 in two minutes. Here's what's making headlines. Bills fans waking up happy this morning after the team put on a clinic last night. On both sides of the ball, they were tied 7-7 after the first quarter, then scored 34 unanswered points, went on to win 41-7. And we do have some good news off the field from last night's game. Head coach Sean McDermott tells us cornerback Dane Jackson does have full movement in his extremities. He got injured in a collision in the second quarter. We'll follow up on his injury throughout the day. The FAA has rejected a proposal from Republic Airways aimed at slashing the number of hours pilots need to fly in half. Right now, they're required to finish 1,500 hours of training. That benchmark set in the wake of the crash of Flight 3407 more than a decade ago after local families who lost loved ones fought so hard for that change. The FAA says pilots don't get enough training to support a reduction in flight experience. And you're invited to a party to help do some good for the community. Friends of the Night People hosting a party for the people 2022. Stop by Flying Buys and Brewery from 5.30 to 8.30. There's food, drink, music, raffles. Tickets are $25 and the organization uses the money to give out some 175,000 meals to the community over the year. Aaron's keeping an eye on your Tuesday forecast. And your Tuesday forecast looks terrific. Partly to mostly sunny skies today. Temperatures in the low to mid 70s. Winds out of the west 5 to 15 miles per hour with some higher gusts. Tonight, overnight lows near 60. Partly cloudy and pleasant tomorrow. Near 80 degrees with those afternoon storms. Some could be strong too severe. Showers on Thursday with highs in the 50s. Friday, your high just 57 degrees. We're back in the 60s on Saturday. Rain showers return on Sunday.